What's up nail fiends? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you guys could probably tell by the title, I'm finally going to be sharing with you my thoughts and also some swatches of the absolutely gorgeous Nail Mate acrylic system. So I do have a few of their core powders. I also have some of their Elite Art powders, as well as their Gel Top Coat and some of their Glitter Planet UK Micro Shards. So I do have a lot going on in this video. It is a little bit of a long one. I wanted to keep it a little bit in depth for you guys. So if you would be interested to see everything in this little snapshot here swatched and what I think of it, then just keep on watching. So lovelies, diving right in with today's video and before we get into those gorgeous art powders, I first wanted to share with you um, the core powders I have. I actually have two of their core powders but I got one specifically for this video. So this is Perfect Pink which is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys are like me, sort of like a peely wally white girl, this is the perfect colour for you. It is such a beautiful, it's nudie pink colour and I adore it. So this one was definitely my favourite out of the whole range of core powders so I went ahead and got the larger tub of this and then I also got the larger tub of their clear because I just think for myself they will be the ones that I would use the most of so instead of having like a lot of acrylic powders in my kit that I'm not going to be using this one is perfect for me so as you could see guys going in and swatching this it just applies like an absolute dream so I'm actually using the nail mate monomer with this one but I have heard through the grapevine that you can use different brands of monomer with this acrylic system and you will have no issues whatsoever so again in terms of saving money that is a really good option to have because it means you don't have to go out and spend 30 pound on a specific monomer when you probably have a different brand at home already but moving on to the actual um covered powder this one like i said is a perfect pink and it is simply gorgeous i love this acrylic powder as you can see it doesn't take much to build up this acrylic powder and even though i am simply a beginner i have no authority whatsoever on acrylic nails i found this an absolute pleasure to work with it gave me enough time that i was able to get a full cover nail without um do you know like when you're doing acrylic nails you sometimes worry about everything drying too quickly i had the perfect amount of time to finish my nail and I had no issues with it whatsoever so when it comes to this powder I definitely give this one a thumbs up and then like I said guys I did go ahead and get six of their new elite acrylic powders and these are their art powders this is their colored range they do have a few now and as you can see at the top there it's got set one which I think means that they're going to be bringing out more but the packaging on these products are absolutely gorgeous you could definitely see that a lot of time and a lot of effort has gone into making this product they are absolutely gorgeous from the little pots that they come in to the powder themselves like I said and I've repeated it multiple times in my acrylic videos I am not fully qualified in acrylic nails I am only in training and I found these acrylic powders absolutely pleasant to work with I didn't have to rush I had enough time to make sure I had an even smooth nail and they applied like absolute butter I had no issues with any of these powders whatsoever apart from one which I will explain further on in the video when I come up to that powder but this one is called neon blue and guys just look at it it is so bright so cheery and absolutely gorgeous and even though we're coming into autumn um i definitely will, will be getting a lot out of this powder it is definitely one of my favorite colors from the whole bunch it is just so smooth really pleasant to work with and i loved it so when we're talking about a price point for these acrylic powders they aren't the cheapest ones out there i'm not gonna lie you can get products slightly cheaper these retail for 10 pound with vat and you're getting 10 grams of product in their art powders do i think that's a little bit expensive probably but you are definitely getting what you pay for whether it's the packaging or the product they are absolutely up there and they do justify their price so guys the next one we are moving on to is powder blue and i must admit i am 
firmly in love with this one it is such a cute color i really love it and again i just wanted to mention with these powders guys you do have to remember that these are not strength powders so you want to remember that you've got to cap this in clear so even with that the one thing that i loved about these acrylic powders is that they are most definitely like a medium to wet type of product so if like me you are beginning and you're still working on your ratio from powder to liquid then these powders are right up your street because like i say you can work with these wet they are still going to give you the right amount of product that you have strength to your nail obviously with these not being strength powders you do have to add that extra product but you're still getting a smooth nail and a thin enhancement that way your nails aren't overly bulky you're not needing to do too much filing work or all of that stuff so again me personally i do like to work a little bit on the wetter side so when i started with these powders i was noticing oh my god these are actually really working for me and i was literally so surprised because with my glitter bells products and things like that i do tend to struggle just a little bit because like that one you do have to work a little bit on the drier side with that i really struggle with that because when i am picking up my um beads i definitely work on the wet side so like i said these are absolutely fantastic for beginners you will have no issues whatsoever when it comes to your bead control you can add um, more product onto your nail you could build up the thickness of your nail with no issues at all and that's something that i found really handy and now guys we are moving on with mint ninja and this one is simply stunning you're going to hear me say that an awful lot in this video but as you may probably know already i am so in love with these acrylic powders when it comes to finding an acrylic system that works for me i have a little bit struggled i'm not going to lie because like i say i do need that little bit extra time to work so i tend to stick to products from ink london simply because i have the slow speed monomer and it gives me the right amount of time and i don't have to be chasing the product or anything like that so these are really great at self-leveling as you can see you don't have to do too much work whatsoever you're basically placing your bead giving that bead a little bit of just a time to spread over the nail a self-level and then all you have to do is form it into the shape that you want and fill in your nail so again like i said i wasn't chasing the product i didn't i felt like i didn't need to rush with my application and that is something that i really strive to look for when i'm finding a new acrylic system so will i I be buying more of these absolutely they are gorgeous i am so in love with them and i think lorna has done an amazing job they really have knocked it out of the park for their first time bringing out their colors i am in love and they should be so proud of theirself So guys, we are now moving on to that powder that I mentioned at the beginning. This is the one that I actually struggled the most with. So this one is called Plum Pie and it basically in the tub you would think it's probably like a really nice pinky lilac colour but it really isn't. It's got that really beautiful dark, almost like a ready sort of colour to it. It is gorgeous. But with this one, I actually did struggle to get the product to build up colour. So I felt like I was adding more and more beads to get that proper colour. It is gorgeous. Just look at how that beautiful that sort of like darkish ready purple color is it was definitely one of my favorite colors but i just found it a bloody nightmare to work with if i'm being honest so as you can see i applied my bead i went ahead and made sure that the contact area where i was going to be putting my next bead was nice and flush to the nail but as i started to drag the product down the nail i noticed that a lot of the color was coming out or it was sticking to sort of like one place so where i added that bead it would be really nice and opaque but then and as I dragged the product down the nail I noticed that it did lose a lot of its opacity so I don't know if maybe I had to leave it a little bit longer or did I have to build up the colour a little bit more but I really found this one patchy again I am not going to lie it's a gorgeous colour but it almost reminds me of like a jelly type product so I'm not fully sure I would have to do a little bit more investigating and if you guys know the answer to this let me know in the comment section below but I am not sure if this is supposed to be 
be like a sort of jelly product and it's supposed to have that sort of like um transparency to it but again like you could see here i had to keep adding more beads to get the color to work for me i wanted that color to go on the nail and be that color right away if that makes any sense but with me this one definitely required a little bit of work as you can see i did eventually get the color to build up but i was adding tiny beads of acrylic more and more and i found that i had to add a lot more acrylic than i did with the previous colors so again i'm not sure if that was just my application or is this powder supposed to be a little bit more on the sheerer side definitely let me know if you know the answer to that but it's still a gorgeous color and it did apply really nicely and easily to the nail Then guys, the next one we're moving on to is another firm favourite of mine. This one is called Bubblegum and is the most beautiful sort of cherry pink colour I ever absolutely freaking adore this one it is gorgeous so when i went in to swatch this again i had zero issues with this one it applied flawlessly to the nail the colors built up beautifully and i did really really like this one it is such a gorgeous color and again it has that little little bit of shimmer to it so it was really really striking and you could also go ahead and add some of those little micro flakes to this one and i think it would look absolutely beautiful again like you see it applied like a absolute dream it went on super smooth and i didn't have to work with it i wasn't chasing my bead around the nail it just applied smoothly flawlessly and i really really loved this one so I don't know if you guys have noticed it all the way throughout this video I'm kind of using like that three bead method with these acrylics I first go in with my first bead of acrylic to the middle of the nail drag that down to the tip and then I start at the cuticle area and then bring that down to the middle and then if I feel like I need it sometimes I do most times with these powders I didn't I will go in with a really tiny bead and just drag that up from the bottom and it basically forms a really beautiful smooth color on that nail and they all form together absolutely marvelously so if I'm being totally honest with you guys, this one was most definitely one of my firm favourites. Not only did I like the colour, I loved the consistency of the powder and it really did, it was true to life on the nail. You didn't have to do too much faffing about and I actually love this one. So for this powder, it will probably be the first one that I use when I actually go ahead to do my nails using these powders because I seriously need to get my own nails done. I haven't had them done in freaking ages. I actually had one of my lovely subscribers say to me, Kylie why are you buying so much bloody nail stuff and never have stuff on your nails and I actually sat and thought about it and she is so right I haven't done my own nails in about two months and um yeah I've been totally naked for a whole entire two months so yeah my next video will be coming up in a few days and I will be doing my own nails but this one is most definitely going to be the powder I'm using I am in freaking love with it So guys, I think I'm most definitely saving the best one to last. So the next powder that I'm going to be swatching is called Dusky Pink. And this is the one that I actually saw Lorna use when she was... It was long before she actually brought out her acrylic powders. She was actually showing off the new Flexi Hand. And she did a simply stunning rose gold set with this powder. And I was just in freaking love with it. It is almost like a cover powder. But it has that really beautiful sort of light nudie pink colour. It is simply classic and a really gorgeous powder. So if you need any in your collection, this one is one I would suggest most. Simply because it would go with all different kinds of skin tones. You could base your whole manicure around this and add a pop of colour and it will match 99.9% .9 of the colours that you choose to base your whole set around. It is gorgeous. It's not too pink that it's um like leaning heavily on the pink side. It is not too nude that it's just a complete cover if that makes any sense probably not but it's got that really nice happy medium between them both you could see that it's a gorgeous color but it isn't like you're completely naked if that makes any sense it's a gorgeous color and i really love it again simply had no problems whatsoever working with this powder it blended in absolutely seamlessly it is gorgeous and this is one that i fell in love with when i very first saw it i had to have it in my collection and i was absolutely pumped that it was still in stock when 
I got it, but when I was going to check recently, it was sold out. So you may want to just double check before you go ahead and do your order because it seems like it is a really popular colour. So guys, now that I have gone ahead and swatched all of those colours, like I mentioned at the beginning of my video, these art powders are not strength powders, so they do require a coat of clear acrylic just to build up the strength and structure on your nail. So I went ahead and bought the large pot of clear, crystal clear, simply because I knew that I was going to be using it more so with the art powders and things like that. I tend to go through a lot of clear as opposed to the colours, so I thought it would be handy to have the larger one, and now I have gone ahead and sped through the whole process but here is me adding a coat of clear to all of those colours. So guys, now that I have swatched all of the colours, I'm going in now with their micro shards. So I picked up three colours, they do offer a full range of them. So basically, Nail Mate is where you will get their acrylic system and also their tools. And Glitter Planet UK is obviously what they call their glitter range. But it all works out to in the same store from the same brand. They just have different sort of collections, if that makes any sense. So the first one that I'm going in with is called Pink Flame. And this one has an absolute absolutely gorgeous sort of iridescent purpley pink hint to it with also a little bit of green in there as well it is gorgeous so for the purposes of the swatches I did want to show you guys a full cover on a clear nail and as you can see they built up absolutely beautifully but I do find that you do have to work with slightly wetter beads because it does tend to make your brush a little bit more drier so yeah to save your brush definitely work with a wetter acrylic and you will have no issues whatsoever with these then we're jumping on to Bejeweled and even in the pot guys this is glorious but once it is swatched it is freaking gorgeous. It has these gorgeous hints of gold in it with, with a, like a little pop of blue. It is gorgeous and definitely one of my favourites. So again as you can see I am building this up in two coats but I had no issues whatsoever with adding some extra glitter in there and then encapsulating the whole nail. And then the last one I have to share with you guys is called Pink Lemonade and this one is, like I said, a little bit more on the greener side. So you do have hints of pink in there but it definitely has that absolutely gorgeous iridescent green shift to the whole colour. It is freaking gorgeous and I think this one over a black would look absolutely ace. It is gorgeous. So these ones retail for £2.70 with VAT so they are a little bit more expensive than their average glitters but they are definitely worth it guys. 
And next up, lovelies, I just wanted to share with you guys finally my thoughts on the Nailmate Super Gloss Gel Top Coat. So when I had gone on the website, again, this was um, a product that was sold out. So I was really pleased to get it on my next order. I have heard such rave reviews about this, so I wanted to put it to the test. So what I decided to do for you guys was go ahead and show you a small clip of me applying the uh, Super Gloss to all of the colours. So you could just see how really nice and shiny it actually is. And again, I am just going to shut my mouth and let you guys watch and I will jump back with you guys at the end for my final thoughts. And then guys, here is the super gloss top coat over the top of all of those micro shards. And again guys, just watch these come to life. Freaking gorgeous. I did go ahead and buff and file the nail off camera. But as you can see, as soon as I added that top coat, they actually just sprung to life and were so beautiful. So guys, now I wanted to just quickly share with you guys this little bit extra. I have now started to go ahead and start organising all of my swatch sticks. And what I'm using to do that is this Dymo label maker. I actually got mine off of Amazon. I will leave it linked down below. I got a really good deal on it and also a few extra of the tapes. So the tape I'm using in this actual one is black writing on a white sticker. But I also have black on clear, which I use for my glitter bells. So basically all I do is go ahead and add the name of the brand and also the name of the acrylic powder i will go ahead and remove those labels and i just pop that onto my swatch sticks this one is a 12 millimeter tape so it is a little bit too big for the actual swatch stick so i did have to go ahead and trim it usually i use a nine millimeter and it works a lot better but yeah i just really love this system that i have working with me now and i'm really pleased with it but if that's something that you guys would like to see in an up and coming video a more of a sort of like organizational video definitely let me know down below and that's something i could do for you guys and then finally my lovelies to finish off today's video i just wanted to quickly share with you guys an up close look at all of the colors side by side just so you could get a feel for each one and if you guys haven't already guessed i cannot stress how much i recommend these products to you not only are they amazing quality the packaging is on point super cute and really really trendy but what i will do guys is go ahead and leave all of the names of all of the ones i got and all of the links where you could find them linked down below i don't have a discount code for you guys but the one i use personally is ninja 10 and that will get you 10 percent off it's not my code it's lorna's code and let's face it she absolutely deserves that little bit extra for the banging work she's done with these products and finally my lovelies if you did enjoy today's video please give me a thumbs up i would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already don't forget to click that subscribe button hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime i upload a new video and as always to my returning subscribers thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you guys in the next one bye